Premium parking is one of the most coveted things on campus, and now mm -hmm. nearly 100 premium spots are going away. How student government is altering parking to benefit those who live on campus. And another marijuana bus, this time in the Crossings dorms. That's all tonight here on Spinnaker News. Good evening, Ospreys. I'm Patrick Lloyd. And I'm Cassandra Ortiz. You're watching Spinnaker News right here on Spinnaker Television. Well, if you're a student who lives on campus and has a housing parking pass, then you know that finding parking spaces can be quite an inconvenience, to say the least. However, UNF is trying to stop this problem by converting 95 premium parking spaces into housing spaces. Lots 60, 17, and 55 will be the ones undergoing the changes. Director of Communications for Student Government, Ryan Treyer, feels that this is going to benefit UNF's parking circumstances. We are not taking away any spots that um, would cause parking to get worse. If anything, this will make parking significantly better for the people who are actually utilizing the premium passes. The spots being converted were rarely used as premium spots. And a student was busted with over 3.6 grams of marijuana and an array of drug paraphernalia on November 16th. That's after a resident life coach smelled the marijuana coming from the Osprey Crossings room. The police were called and allowed to search the room. The officer did not pursue legal action, luckily, but the student was referred to student conduct. And coming up, a look at what's to come for Jacksonville Entertainment right here in December. Also, Josh Brannick has your sports update. You won't want to miss it. Stick around, Ospreys. Looking for these? You drive buzzed. Could be one very expensive ride. First, you gotta make bail. Then pay me to get your car back. Your insurance premiums will go through the roof. And my legal fees just keep adding up. All told, it could end up costing you $10,000. Nothing kills a buzz like getting pulled over for buzz driving, because buzz driving is drunk driving. Welcome back, Ospreys. I'm Cassandra Ortiz. And I'm Patrick Lloyd. Let's get you caught up with the weather and toss it over to Tabitha. Thank you, Patrick and Cassandra. What's up, Ospreys? I'm Tabitha Louis here with your weather report. It looks as if things are warming up just before Thanksgiving, but with this roller coaster of temperatures, it is just too early to tell. Today, we had a high of 75 with a 20% chance of rain. Tomorrow will be partly sunny as temperatures rise up to 78 degrees. There is an eastern wind blowing through at about 5 to 9 miles per hour, so that will hopefully make the day feel cooler. I would advise you to take an umbrella out with you since there will be a 20% chance for rain. As we turn to the radar, we can see the little bit of rain that has just passed, but other than that, skies are seemingly clear. There are, however, some traces of light rain just passing under our region. Let's take this time now to check out the five-day forecast. All right, here you can see as we begin to work our way into the weekend, temperatures do warm up to 79 degrees by Saturday. During that time, we are looking at lows in the mid to higher 50s. When Sunday strikes, temperatures will drop nearly 20 degrees to a high of 62, and later they will make their way back up to 70 by Tuesday. Keep your umbrella on you because for the majority of the week, you can expect a 20 to 30 percent chance for rain. Skies will be mostly sunny, so stop by the Student Union tomorrow at 1 o'clock for the Harvest Festival. There will be free food, hay rides, a petting zoo, and more. That's it for me. Have a delightful week in Ospreys. Let's take it back now to Cassandra and Patrick at the desk. You tap with that. Well, I'm glad we only need our umbrella and not those jackets anymore. Yeah, that's good. I, I'm not a big fan of cold weather, so it's good to see that. That's right. I thought you were the cold weather guy. No, I thought no you not really. No? I, I don't like really cold weather. I like moderately cold. So in between. Yeah. Okay, great. So it's the perfect week for you then. Sounds good. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> All right. Hopefully most of you have heard about the massive typhoon that recently struck the Philippines. Well, some UNF students are doing their best to assist the victims of the vicious storm. The UNF Filipino Student Association is involved in a project called FASTER, which is an acronym for Filipino American Students for Typhoon Emergency Relief. The project aims to educate others on the aftermath of the typhoon. We are taking donations to our nonprofit organization called Gawa Kalinga, and it's an organization that builds homes in some of the poor areas of the Philippines, and recently are buy, they're buying like medicine, medical supplies and such. 
The Asian Students Alliance will hold a benefit concert on November 25th in order to raise more funds to donate to credible aid organizations. It's always good to see people helping those who can't help themselves. That's right. And we've got a busy December ahead of us here on the First Coast with lots to do. On December 4th, you can swing by the Downtown Art Walk from 5 p.m. to 9 p.m. at the Hemming Plaza. And on December 6th, the band Laser Floyd will be performing from 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. Tickets for that concert are $5 per person, but the fun continues on December 8th with the 102.9's The Big Concert. Bands like Manchester Orchestra, who was here not that long ago, Stone Temple, and the Pilots will all be performing. Tickets for that will be $50, and if you're looking for an interesting time, Fifty Shades of Grey, the musical, may be just for you. That show is coming to the Times Union Center on December 9th at 7.30 p.m. Those tickets range from $27 to $62, but be sure to see Slow Magic perform at Cafe 11 in St. Augustine at 9 p.m. You can buy tickets for just $8 and get ready for some unbelievable talent. The Gold Dragon Acrobats will be performing at the Florida Theater on December 20th at 7.30 p.m. Get, get your tickets for that. They're between $23 and $39. So lots to do here on the First Coast. Staying really busy and I plan to be at that art walk, so I'm really excited. Absolutely, that's good stuff. All right, Ospreys, it's time for the moment you've all been waiting for. It's time for Sports with Josh Brandon. Hello, Ospreys. I am Josh Brannick here with your sports update, and it's going to be a nice, easy, breezy, quick one today. We are starting off on the hardwood tonight as the men's basketball team will be hosting the Warriors of Weber International University tonight at 7 p.m. This will be the last of a three-game homestand before UNF packs its bags for a two-game road trip. UNF is 2-3 and three after winning the game on Monday. Now, basketball is my favorite sport. I like the way they dribble up and down the court, and we are going to stay on the Heartwood and take a flight over to the UNF women's basketball team to see what they are doing this weekend. The team is going to be in the land of maple syrup and Ben and & Jerry's ice cream as they play in Vermont throughout the weekend. On Friday, the team will take on Vermont University at 7 p.m. And on Saturday, they will take on either the University of Wisconsin-Green Bay or Siena University. The Ospreys are sitting at 2-2 two and two so far, giving them a nice little 5 double zero hundred for the, for the year, taking a landing from the air into the water. The UNF swimming and diving team will be at the Wynn Gate Invitational from Friday to Sunday. I told you that it was going to be a nice, easy, breezy cover girl. Quick sports day today. That's it for sports. I'm Josh Brennan. Now back to y'all at the desk with Cassandra Ortiz and the clean-shaven Patrick Ian Lloyd. <laughs> Thank you, Josh. Well, Patrick, by the way, if you plan on going to that concert, it's actually Manchester Orche Orchestra and the Stone Temple Pilots. And it's the big ticket, not the big concert. Sorry. Oh, okay. Did I say that? Did I say <laughs> yeah. that? Yeah. <laughs> but okay. speaking, of, speaking of words and fumbling it up, do you guys know what the 2013 word of the year was? I think I heard what it was. I'm pretty sure everybody knows what it is. Let me go ahead and grab my phone out real quick. And it's basically just us going hashtag wait for it selfie. And that's basically what it was. The word of the year this year was selfie. So, all right. <laughs> selfie, barely barely beat year. out what? Twerking, right? Twerk, yes, twerk for oh, word of the year. Two very popular words this I year. I bet they were both hard at twerk. Um, uh, going into uh, very yeah. good, very good. Super that's funny, everybody. Funny, yes. <laughs> well, all right, UNF, that's all we have for you tonight. And hey, remember, keep yourself informed with unfspinnaker.com. Have a wonderful, safe, and dry night, Ospreys. We'll see you next week.